This discovery matters because it redefines what we mean by galaxy size. For decades, the record belonged to IC1101, a supergiant elliptical galaxy about 4 million light years wide. But Alcyoneus is something else entirely. A cosmic structure so large, it blurs the line between a galaxy and a galactic ecosystem. So how do you measure something this vast? Astronomers don't measure it by light from stars, but by its radio emission footprint, the area where radio waves still shine brighter than background noise. That signal defines the outer edges of Alcyoneus' lobes. What's even more interesting is that Alcyoneus lives in a quiet neighborhood of the universe. No dense cluster to feed it, no violent mergers. It's a gentle giant, grown slowly over billions of years through steady jets of energy rather than chaos. That makes it a perfect laboratory for understanding how massive galaxies evolve without constant collisions. It's like finding a mountain that grew alone in the middle of an ocean. The team that found it, led by Martin Oy of Leiden University, used a clever technique called stacked radio mapping. By combining many weak signals over large areas, they uncovered patterns too faint for individual telescopes to see. What they saw was stunning. A perfectly balanced pair of lobes, each spanning millions of light years, aligned like butterfly wings across the cosmos. Alcyoneus sits roughly three billion light years from Earth. That means its light, and its radio waves started their journey before our solar system even existed. In astronomical terms, we're seeing a ghost from the past, a record of activity that ended billions of years ago, but still glows faintly across the void. So, what made this galaxy so large? The answer may lie in its black hole, a colossus with billions of solar masses, slowly feeding on gas and dust and launching jets that shape the space around it. Those jets blast particles into intergalactic space inflating lobes like balloons over time. Even after the central engine goes quiet, the lobes remain, radiating faintly for hundreds of millions of years. Alcyonius is the largest we've found so far, but that might only be because it's one of the few we can actually see. There could be even bigger radio galaxies lurking in regions too distant or too faint for our current instruments.